Hello everyone, I'm back with another episode on EOS tracking. The mainnet launch is in progress and uh, this is a site from US Nation. They have created a cool graphics showing what the stage they are in. So as we have been talking about uh, uh, today, let's look at little more details on various uh, stages of launch. So we till yesterday there was a verify stage where every block producer was checking the snapshot, making sure it matches with the other and uh, they're they're calling these a uh, key initial uh, members of the block producer who are like us new york we talked about us authority and us nation and a lot of uh, the key uh, block producer they have come together and uh, they had announced a UN us mainnet launch group emlg so now they are kind of in alignment of snapshot uh, there were a couple of uh, very very small entries where like which was less than 150 dollar um, tokens uh, they were holding there was some mismatch they have resolved that and uh, moved ahead now the next phase is testing this is the longest phase where they have to come together form a network it will be a closed set of network they are trying to use uh, a secure nodes uh, like they're connecting with each other uh, in a secure environment and trying to test uh, whether the code is running properly uh, their goal is to run it for 48 hours uh, uh, before uh, they can uh, announce that they are ready there is no bug in the system and uh, then they will open it they call the phase enable phase where they will make a statement that uh, now they are all uh, ready to start voting and uh, asking token holders who, to in, uh, import their private keys so this is the where the voting will begin i think the enable and activation phase should be fairly quick because I think a lot of people are very excited about it and I think uh, we will see this 15% uh, votes uh, hopefully coming together very quickly. Now while this is going on, uh, I wanted to have a look, I think there's nothing much to discuss, we are still waiting for this test to go on. So I'm going to talk about uh, what is the status of the forks. So as we know that uh, there was a big airdrop evolution. Um, uh, which they started as a fork to US, that was their target. They wanted to make it even more decentralized. They didn't want uh, the voting to be driven by the big by big token holders. And uh, um, I think they are still doing a lot of work at the community level, publishing their ideas. But unfortunately, there is not much progress uh, at their end. Uh, so I would still look for whether it's really any, this token will be having any worth. Uh, even their initial airdrop which started on May 10th is not completed yet. Uh, the scale airdrop is targeted for uh, final token holders on the mainnet uh, branch. So we don't know when this will be happening. So I think only less than 50% of the people have got their tokens from the initial airdrop. And uh, again, they have there is no clarity on what block producers are coming together. My expectation is that uh, some of the block producers who do not get uh, accepted or voted in the EOS mainnet, uh, those may look for some alternate ways because they have already spent energy, they have already spent a lot of effort in uh, building tools and uh, uh, being a node on EOS and if they don't get voted, uh, they will have to look for their future goals and maybe they will join one of these uh, forks. So there's a long way to go before evolution means something, so do not worry about it, the airdrop is still going on. Uh, I'm not saying that this is a fake chain or a fraud, but what I would say is uh, it's not looking very exciting as of now. Interestingly, there is another fork uh, starting on EOS that is called EOS Classic. Now, this is uh, very strange because they are talking about a combination of EOS and EO Ethereum uh, consensus model. And they are using EOS code, but they are claiming that they are going to use a proof of work across uh, 105 nodes. So this is, uh, again, I have not looked into it in detail, but this looks uh, pretty much like a mixture of uh, the proof of work and uh, expanding this uh, block producer community to 105. They are claiming that uh, they will have a better uh, performance by using this method and it will be much uh, more secure uh, being uh, much higher uh, uh, in like in terms of decentralization they will have more block producers and so on. So it, will, it, is, it, is, uh, it was expected as we discussed earlier you will have uh, a lot of forks coming. EOS is an open source software. Anybody can pick up and run with it. Uh, but it's all about how much uh, uh, you can, like how much community you can build around it. And also this also shows that uh, how much potential EOS has that uh, it's already seeing so many forks. Um, so in terms of airdrop, they are claiming that uh, they will only give airdrops to people who have more than 100 US tokens. And uh, the snapshot is ha has already happened. 
uh, on June 3rd, but it doesn't matter when the snapshot happens because uh, there is no movement on EOS tokens after the freeze on June 1st. So basically they are going to use a Genesis block uh, snapshot and they will give uh, 1 is to 1 ratio uh, to 100 US token, uh, anybody who has more than 100 US tokens. Uh, then the next thing is uh, uh, like they are pretty early in the game but uh, they are very active. So as compared to Evolution, as I said, the Evolution is not providing any updates. Uh, their Telegram channel is full of uh, people who are just looking for airdrops and not really talking about progress on the project. Uh, but if you look at uh, the US Classic, they have uh, this Twitter feed and uh, they are very very active. Every hour or two hours they are making an update. They are claiming that they will be launching uh, their mainnet before US, uh, which is, uh, um, I think it's a very aggressive approach. They are trying to gain visibility. They are trying to see if they can uh, grab some DApp developers uh, early by making a fast move. And uh, they are saying that uh, this will be more like a continuation of ERC-20 tokens. Um, so what they are saying is uh, they will be maintaining these tokens uh, the, the, on the ERC-20, uh, that means the Ethereum wallet. So this airdrop is not on EOS. They are going to make this on ERC-20 wallet. And uh, that is what they expect to, to have some kind of value. They are hoping that they can retain some value for those EOS tokens, calling it EOS Classic. So again, I am not very positive. I do, I'm personally not a fan of proof of work and uh, I still don't understand uh, how this uh, is going to be an improvement over EOS uh, delegated proof of stake uh, uh, platform. So uh, so these are two of the chains. I think that as we go forward, you will see more and more people using this software and maybe doing their own private chains. So let us see how it evolves. Uh, but again, we are mostly excited about US, which is uh, backed by a lot of money, which is backed by a lot of uh, big projects. And uh, so all these free airdrops, uh, you can collect them. There is no problem. Uh, it's all about uh, maybe someday these will mean something, uh, but do not expect uh, any valuation for these in short term. Now, coming to another project, which uh, I had talked about earlier. This is another project which is giving airdrops uh, on the Genesis snapshot. So I looked a little bit more into this and uh, so the, basically they are an exchange and they are going to make it uh, a very very EOS focused uh, approach. So their focus will be to enable uh, the EOS project. So right now they are only enabling uh, Bitcoin to EOS pair, Ethereum to EOS pair and Ethereum to BTC pair. So you can deposit your bit Bitcoins and Ethereum before the freeze that you were also able to deposit EOS uh, tokens to this exchange or buy and sell there. So one thing which I really liked about this project. Uh, is uh, the way they are going to use these tokens. So first of all, let's look at their airdrop details. So they are making uh, the airdrops uh, on to all the people uh, who hold US tokens. So they are making 900 million uh, token airdrop, one is to one. And uh, these uh, tokens are going to be used for uh, uh, tra transaction fees on chain tra transaction platform. And you, will be a you can actually buy and sell without any fee. Uh, the other thing is, uh, they are maintaining some tokens for themselves as the usually is the case they have a foundation they have a market promotion uh, allocation and so on so you can read more about it on their website uh, the another thing so let me go back to what i really like about this project is uh, if you hold your us token and uh, once the mainnet uh, happens they're going to map it uh, automatically that is a feature which most of the exchanges are providing but uh, the biggest thing which uh, they are offering is that you will be able to receive all US related airdrops uh, automatically and they are creating an independent airdrop section uh, where you can collect and you can actually distribute uh, US based airdrops uh, through chains to all US members and this is a very nice uh, feature because as you know uh, US is one chain where you will see more and more airdrops happening um, the, and we expect the funding model will transfer from ICO to airdrop model because till now people were raising money they were worried about SEC uh, because they are actually uh, creating you know a promise for investment but if you look at uh, the airdrop model like Everypedia so they will keep some tokens to themselves while they will airdrop a, most, a big chunk to US token holders and once that happens market values that token based on the project's worth and they, whatever tokens they hold, that becomes their funding model. And uh, they can always sell some tokens uh, from what they have into the market and raise funds later. 
Now, this is why it cannot be done on Ethereum because uh, for a project to start, like what we are seeing, um, if you look at the evolution, they are struggling to even finish. They had a very grand plan of doing initial airdrop and then scale airdrop. Initial airdrop started like almost 20, 25 days back and they're struggling because Ethereum network is slow. They're not able to make enough airdrops. The second thing is every transaction costs money. And uh, now for this, if it is a community-driven community project, how are they going to raise money uh, just for airdrops, just to create this community? And then they have to worry about the development funds uh, and all the marketing and so on. But if you are look, using a EOS platform, you will be able to airdrop uh, free of cost if you have enough EOS to stake and use the network bandwidth. And then you can continue using, like, you know, building this platform and this... Uh, with the funds you receive after airdropping, the market will value them at a certain rate and uh, you can actually, uh, based on your white paper, people will already uh, start trading it and based on the trading volume, um, you will already get voted. You already will realize what is the potential of your token. And it's very similar to ICO where people, based on the white paper, they fund your project and we are ex assuming that uh, that will really change the way the money is raised in the ICO world. And this chains platform has a lot of potential. Uh, we see that uh, they can really uh, enable, they are actually designing this platform for uh, US projects specifically in mind. Uh, they themselves are using US chain. And uh, that's why we believe it's a very, very strong platform. A um, lot of ed existing exchanges will struggle to support so many airdrops. Already we are seeing uh, people facing challenges in receiving US airdrops on uh, other exchanges. So this is a great project. I think we will look into it more in more details and maybe this may be a good platform to use for further US buying once the mainnet launches. So that is, uh, I think, uh, going to be the critical uh, piece when we look at uh, some of these new exchanges launching on US. So again, I think uh, some exciting projects happening here. I think Chains is giving airdrop. I'm not too sure about US Classic and Evolution. These are forks for US. These are just uh, a backup plan for some of the people. Um, as you know that Ethereum uh, and Ethereum Classic uh, was a model where people are looking at where Ethereum Classic is still valued. Uh, it's not a bad coin. They are almost in top 20 most of the time in coin market cap. So there's a good chance that some of these US chains may gain some valuation later on if they are able to bring enough backing from uh, maybe funding in terms of uh, uh, just like Ethereum Classic has been able to get a lot of funding from hedge funds uh, and also some community backing. So we will keep monitoring that, but while we are waiting for this EOS launch, just wanted to give you an update on what we are learning about EOS. And uh, as we see more progress on the US launch itself, we will keep you updated. I believe that uh, uh, this should happen in the next 24 to 48 hours uh, when they are, the testing is completed and they are confident and uh, hopefully they will, uh, the voting will begin soon. Again, I would like to uh, remind you and every uh, responsible block producer is reminding you to be very careful of scams. A lot of scams are going around. Um, do not import your private key anywhere. Uh, even when this uh, voting begins, uh, you, I would say be very, very careful. Make sure that you have 100% understanding of uh, uh, safety issues which can come across. And most of these portals are still not secure. Even after they declare, uh, the, e the only safe processor is the command line uh, portals which uh, uh, they are being recommended the command line wallets and so I don't think any of uh, typical investors who are not developers or software engineers uh, they will not be able to do this and if you are already not running a US node we do not recommend uh, uh, going and voting for it uh, so thanks a lot for joining please subscribe to our channel and again thanks for making our channel now a feature channel we are now above 1000 subscribers so thanks a lot for all the support and good comments um, and uh, I think we are very, very excited, all of us. And I believe this community is becoming like a US community. But uh, just to remind you, our channel is targeted for much bigger cryptocurrency coverage and uh, we will talk about more projects. But at this moment, we will continue talking about US because that's the focus uh, our team has here. And uh, we will keep uh, updating you on how it goes. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.